Hi, my name is Matt Corker, and welcome to your hour-long, slow and sweaty vinyasa class. We're not going to use any props today, so all you need is your mat. However, sometimes two blocks and a towel for the sweat is really helpful. We're going to start today lying down on our backs. So go ahead and identify the front of your mat and put your head there and extend your feet towards the back of your mat as you lie down onto your back. I like to put my hands on my body, either both hands on my belly or one hand on my chest, one hand on my belly, just so that as I take my first conscious breath in, I can feel my body expanding up into my hands. Discover for yourself what it feels like to have this soft weight of the hands on the body as, as feedback, as a form of communication for you and your breath. Take a few more really intentional breaths here. Letting the inhale expand both in its volume and its capacity, but also in terms of the directionality. Forward, back, up, down, side to side. If you haven't already, let your next exhale be out the mouth with a little bit of sound. <sighs> Spread your legs nice and wide so that your ankles are off of the mat. And do the same thing with your arms. V your arms as well so your wrists are off of the mat. Then take your left ankle, lift it up and place it on top of your right ankle. Do the same thing in the upper body. Take your left hand and wiggle it over to the right so that your palms may touch. Or I like to interlace my thumbs here. So they call this a banana shape because, well, you're making a banana. So your hands and feet are off to the right. I want you to think about heavying your left hip down. And from that point, extend your feet towards the back of the mat and your hands higher up to the right corner of your mat. And once you've found this form, add in more breath to the left lung. Take another big inhale here. And come back to that double V, legs wide, arms wide. We'll do the same thing on the second side. Lift your right foot up, cross the right ankle over your left ankle. Bring your left, your right hand over to the left, maybe interlacing the thumbs. Heavy your right hip down to the mat. And as you heavy the right hip down, think about extending your left leg longer, your left fingers longer, and the right side body getting stretched, like you're stretching canvas over a frame to make beautiful art. What adds that beauty in the art is the breath, so breathe a little bit more into your right lung, please. Come on back, release into your double V, legs and arms wide. Bend your knees, bring your feet back onto the mat, hip distance apart. And then cross your left ankle over top your right thigh, figure four. Now option is to stay here, or you can bring the right thigh closer to you, and with your arms, thread around your right leg to come into a thread the needle variation. Stay here for two breaths. 
letting your head and shoulders still be heavy on the mat. Now change the grip. Bring your right hand to the sole of your left foot, the foot right in front of you, and your left hand cups the kneecap of your left leg. So now your hands are firmly positioned on your left leg. Keep it exactly as it is, using your hands as feedback. Extend your right heel towards the sky, straightening the right leg. Then keep the left leg where it is, begin to hover, lower the right leg down so it hovers just slightly off of the mat or wherever that position is where you feel your low back wanting to arch or come up off of the mat and stay there. You want the low back to be firmly placed into the mat. Think about spreading your low back towards the left and the right side of the mat no arching of the back. Take another big breath in and then bend your right knee back to connect to the left ankle. One more just like that. Right heel towards the sky, breathe in. Exhale, lower it down to the point where you start to feel it active and exciting in the core. Stay here for a few breaths. Noticing what happens to the body as we activate the core, where our mind goes, do we tense up the jaw? Take a big breath in together. Exhale, bring the right knee back into figure four, place the right foot down, release your hands down by your side. With your right foot planted, keep the left leg in the figure four, Press down through the hands, the forearms, and the elbows to lift your hips up. Glue the right heel down into this figure four bridge. Think about lifting your left hip up equally with your right hip. It's a small bridge, it's not too intense right away. So be gentle with yourself here. And then lower back down. We'll do that with the breath. On the inhale, lift the hips up. So push down everything that touches the earth, push it down. Exhale, lower everything back down. One more, just like that. Breathe in, lift it up. And exhale to lower. Nice. Bring your left foot down, widen your feet out as wide as your mat. Knock your knees together, take a moment. Part of the practice that we do together is to let the body digest what it just experienced. So often we rush to the next thing without taking the time for things to settle, to integrate. So let this moment just settle what happened on that side of the body. Bring your feet hip distance apart again. We'll do the same thing on the second side. So first take figure four, right ankle over the left thigh. Pause here or hands thread the needle, hands behind the left hamstring. Again, you can squeeze the left thigh towards you as you imagine that right knee opening up a little bit more. Take a few more deep breaths here. On your next exhale, glue your lumbar spine, your low spine to the mat. Spread the muscles and the skin to the left and to the right to get a good wide grip, if you will, with your back. Take your left hand, place it on the sole of the foot in front of you. Take your right hand, cup the knee of your right knee. Then as you inhale, kick the left heel towards the sky. Slowly begin to lower a straight leg down as you breathe out and pause here for a few breaths. Really sharpen that left leg. And remember, you don't need to lower it all the way down to the ground. It may be at a 45 degree angle or maybe it's closer to an 80 degree angle. You get to choose. Just know that the spot at where your body begins to wanna arch the low back, ease up an inch, 
and stay there. Take another breath in. As you exhale, bend your left knee to connect it to the right ankle. One more like that. Inhale, lift the left heel to the sky. Exhale to slowly lower a straight leg to hover somewhere that is exciting for you. <laughs> I say exciting, but you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> Kick the left heel forward a little bit more here. Use that leg lift to accentuate the experience in your core. Take another breath in together. Bend your left knee, bring it in as you exhale. Drop the left foot to the ground, keep the figure four, release the arms down by your side, palms face down. Press down into everything touching the earth, lift the hips up off of the mat for a little figure four bridge. It'll be small, so let it be small, but think about engaging that right glute up a little bit more and sending your right knee towards the direction your left knee is going, so toward the back of your mat. Take a big breath in here, and then lower down slowly. We'll do that again with the breath three times. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift the hips, press down through the heel. Exhale to lower. One more just like that. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lower down. Place the right foot on the earth. Widen your feet out as wide as your mat. Knock your knees together and breathe. You can place your hands on your body again. That helps you integrate your experience. When you're ready and in your own time, hug both knees into your chest. You're gonna rock and roll forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, until you come up to seated, spin around, and find tabletop, all fours on your hands and your knees. Place your hands intentionally right underneath your shoulders and your knees hip distance apart right underneath your hips. Tuck your toes, take a big exhale. Press down through the hands and your big toe mounds to lift the knees off of the ground an inch. We call this a static bear or hovering your knees in tabletop. Think instead of your shoulders coming up to your ears, can you press the shoulder blades down and widen your collarbones? So think outer shoulders reach down through the outside of your arms. Take a big breath in here, a big breath out. One more together, inhale. Lower the knees at the same time to the earth. Spin your right toes off of your mat. Put more responsibility in your right hand. Extend your left leg back as if it was a half plank. And then spin your hip open. Left heel drops down. Your left arm will reach up into this modified variation of side plank. Now here, what I want you to do is something we don't traditionally do. I want you to reach your right arm forward, bicep towards the ear, but then point your fingertips down towards the mat. So you're finding a similar shape like you did with that banana shape on the ground, but really sag. So I want you to lift up that left hip, let your left fingertips droop down, but still stretch and reach. So it's a really saggy shape. Now we'll do the exact opposite. Lift your left leg up and sharpen your left arm straight. Let's transition between those two things. As you exhale, let it go, be saggy banana. Inhale to activate the left side of your waist and get nice and long. Exhale, saggy banana. Inhale to lift up. Nice, left knee and left hand touch the ground at the same time. Take a step forward with your right foot and come up into a low lunge, Anjane Asana. Reach your arms to the sky, your right foot forward, left knee down. 
widen your elbows out to the side as you bend them into goalposts, or we'll call this cactus arms today. And I want you to think about bringing your elbows in line with your shoulders just as high, but then tip them slightly forward and your palms slightly up as if you wanted to try to get a suntan on your forearms, your inner forearms. And then let that lift from the chest, take your gaze up as well. Take a big breath in here, exhale, both hands come down to the mat, step back, downward facing dog. Nice. Lift your right leg to the sky, and then bend your right knee and draw some big circles with it. So let your knee come out to the side, come toward your chest, and then lift back up. And if you've gone in one direction, that's usually the habitual direction. So also try playing the opposite direction. Let your hip open and close in big circles in the opposite direction. Then take your straight leg out to the side as if you were trying to kick a, uh, a chair beside you. <laughs> Bend your knee and find figure four down dog. So your right ankle is across your left thigh. Look forward, drop your left knee down to the earth. Your right knee will join it. So you're in a figure four version of tabletop. Shift forward so there's more responsibility on, in your hands and in your right leg. Lift your left knee up into a high plank on the left side. Lift your left heel up so now you're in a lifted version of this figure four shape. <laughs> Take a moment here and sharpen your left leg. Point your left toes down so your left outer hip rolls down and your right butt doesn't wag out to the right. So see if you can get your right outer hip to go back towards the back of your mat. Take another big breath in. Lower your left knee down. Walk your hands back toward your front foot. Option one is to stay here. Option two, bring your hands to your hips and pause. Option three is to reach your arms to the sky. Press your palms together. Think about lengthening up the side of your waist here. So you get nice and long all the way from your hips, all the way up to your fingertips. Allow your shoulders to lift. Lift your entire rib basket up, that's it. Take a big breath in together. Exhale, both hands come down to the mat. Place both knees together. I'm doing that figure four, wow. And allow yourself to go through a few cat and cows here. Looking up, arching the spine. Exhale, curling in, rounding the spine. And if you'd like to add in a little bit of free movement, either forward and back, while you go through this spinal flexion and extension, feel free, make this practice your own. Here we go, let's do the second side, shall we? First, measure up, hands right underneath shoulders. Knees right underneath hips. Hip, knees are hip distance apart. Tuck the toes. Hover the knees off the mat. Take a big breath in here. And push the ground away from you with your hands as you breathe out. Again, shoulders come down. The outer shoulders push through this lateral side, so the outside of the arms, so that your pinky is engaged. Your index finger mount is engaged. Even the heel of your hand is engaged. Take one more breath in together. Lower the knees down. Spin your left toes off of the mat. Extend your right leg back like we did before. Then drop the heel down. Right arm to the sky for this modified version of side plank. Let's find that soggy or saggy banana. Reach your right bicep over top of your ear and let your fingertips point down. 
as you root down through the right heel, think about getting longer here, lifting your right hip up towards the sky. Nice big stretch in this saggy banana. Take a big exhale here. As you inhale, lift the right leg up, sharpen your right arm up. As you exhale, find a saggy banana. Inhale to sharpen, squeeze your right obliques to support you. Exhale, saggy banana. One more just like that. Inhale to lift up just like that. Exhale, bring it back down. Place the right hand and right knee back down. Bring your left foot forward this time and find your low lunge. Hands can be on your knee, your hips, or you can lift them up. Again, the opportunity here is to bend your elbows to find cactus. Drop your shoulders down your back softly. Elbows come slightly forward, palms face up. So it's like you're scooping the back of your heart. And with this scooping motion, your right hip can go forward a little bit, your heart can lift up a little bit more, and your gaze may even go skyward. See, imagine you're getting a suntan on the front of your chest, the front of your forearms. Take a big breath in together. Exhale, both hands come down. Lift the back knee up, find downward facing dog. Lift your left leg to the sky, please. And then bend your left knee and find those big circles. So again, just allowing there to be a little bit of mobility through your down dog. It doesn't need to maintain a certain form to find all this big range of motion in your hips. We're gonna go in the opposite direction. So if you go one direction, that's the habit, you'll always know how to do that. So you always wanna test yourself and try something new so you get out of what's habitual. Find three-legged down dog, left leg extended back. Widen your left leg up to the side like you were trying to kick a chair beside you. Bend your left knee, find figure four down dog. Bend your right knee all the way down so that it lands softly and you're in a all in uh, figure four tabletop variation. Lean slightly forward. More responsibility now comes to the hands. Straighten your right leg back, lifting the back knee up. Lift your right leg up using the strength of your glute and your core. Imagine yourself getting taller here as you scoot the left hip back. Take a big breath in together, and a big breath out together. One more, just like that, lift, lift, lift. Exhale to replace the right knee exactly where you found it behind the left. Walk your hands toward your front foot and your front knee. Option is to stay here. Option two, hands at your hips. Option three, lift your arms to the sky, press the palms together, squeeze the biceps towards the ears, and think about engaging your right glute here, especially your right butt cheek. So you're opening up the hips as you create more space upwards. So lift the rib basket. Have your chin parallel to the ground so you're looking forward but let the top of your head go up even more. Yeah. Take a big breath in here. And then exhale, hands come back down to the mat. Release the figure four shape. Find cat and cow. And this time, if you didn't, add in a few barrel rolls. So going around in a circle, passing through cat and cow as you breathe in and out. And if you went in one direction, that's the habit, so change it, go in the opposite direction. Let your head get involved. Let everything get involved. Here we go. Let's find downward facing dog, please. 
So lift your hips up and back. Today, have a really generous bend in your front knee. Take a big breath in and a bigger breath out. Lift your left leg to the sky, please. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose and step forward in between your hands. Keep your right hand down. Lift your left arm to the sky, easy twist. Exhale, place the left hand back down. Engage your low abdomen and rise up, rolling up to stand into a high lunge. Both arms reach to the sky. Twist to your left, right arm will reach forward, left arm reaches back. High lunge again, this time straightening your front leg so you come up high. Exhale, hinge forward, tipping the pelvis back as you bring the chest forward, 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 and your hands will land maybe on fingertips if you have blocks into this pyramid pose. For today, think about coming higher on your back toe, so your right heel really lifts so that your left hip can go forward. Sorry, your left hip can go back. Your right hip can go forward and your chest extends from these squared hips. Tuck your chin slightly so the back of your neck is nice and long. Take a big breath in and a deeper breath out. Inhale to step forward and halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale to fold. Rise to stand, reach all the way up, up, up. Exhale, fold down. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, step back to high plank. Lower your knees down to the ground. Lower everything to the ground. Point your toes back, baby cobra, lift your chest forward and up as you ground the tops of your feet down. Exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes, inhale to a high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. So nice. Let's do the second side, right leg to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, knee to nose, lightly place the right foot in between the hands. Right arm reaches to the sky for an easy twist. Breathe in. Exhale, right hand comes down. Rise up through a rounded spine into a high lunge. Let it curl and unfurl you up. Left arm forward, twist to your right. Look to your right. Straighten your front leg as you bring both arms up to the sky. Face forward, breathe in. Hips go back, chest goes forward for pyramid pose. Both hands come down to the ground or to blocks. Again, think about getting high in that back heel so that your back toes are the only thing on the ground so that right hip can go back, left hip can go forward, chest can go forward. Point your nose down so your, the back of your neck can extend as well Take a big breath in and a bigger breath out. Look forward, inhale, halfway lift, step the left foot forward, lift halfway up. Exhale to fold. Rise all the way up to stand, reach your arms to the sky, look up, press the palms up. Exhale, bring the hands through center, pause. Sun A, inhale, lift the arms to the sky, look up. Fold forward as you breathe up. Halfway lift, hands can come to shins, lengthen the spine halfway up. Exhale, step back to high plank, lower halfway or all the way to the ground. Either baby cobra or upward facing dog, letting your shoulders be wide. Downward facing dog as you breathe up. Take three slow, beautiful breaths here. Think about sticking your sits bones higher to the sky behind you and yawning the back of your legs open. 
what happens if you wrapped your your shoulders, your armpits, towards your heart and extended your nose slightly down so the back of the neck was nice and long. Inhale, lift high to your toes, lift your heels even higher. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Step, step on empty to the top of your mat. Halfway lift as you breathe in. Exhale and fold. Rise to stand, reach your arms all the way up in one big motion. Hands come through center towards your chest as you breathe out. Arms down by your side, one more like that. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale to fold forward. Halfway lift, hands to shins, lengthen the spine, nose points down. Exhale, jump back through high plank to chaturanga or all the way down. Take a back bend of your choice on your breath in. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Big inhale. Big exhale. This time with the heels to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step, step, or float to the top of your mat, halfway lift as you breathe in. Exhale to fold. Rise to stand as you breathe in, lift up. Exhale, the hands come down through heart center. Bring your big toes together to touch one sunbeam. Inhale, chair pose. Sit down into your chair, bend your knees, lift your arms. Exhale to fold forward as you breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. Step, step, or float back. High plank to low plank, breathe out. Back bend of choice, breathe in. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Little different, right leg lifts to the sky, breathe in. Step to your right thumb tip, breathe out. Drop the back heel down. Warrior one, chest goes forward and up, just like in a high lunge. Exhale, both hands come down into chaturanga. It's a big exhale, take your time. Back bend, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe up. Left leg to the sky, inhale. Step to the left thumb tip as you breathe out. Drop the back, heel down. Chest goes forward and up to warrior one. Exhale, both hands come down through high plank to chaturanga or all the way to the earth. Your back bend takes your chest forward and up. Downward dog takes you home. Take a moment, breathe. Three deep breaths here. The practice of moving from action into stillness. One of the greatest lessons we can observe and be in the practice of when we jump onto our mat. Take a big exhale together. Inhale, lift the heels high, breathe in. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Step, step, or float to the top of your mat. Halfway lift as you breathe in. Exhale and fold and bring your feet together to touch. Bend your knees a lot, chair pose. Lift your arms to the sky with bent knees. Stand tall as you breathe out, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. So nice. Take a moment here, place hands on your body. I like to bring my hands to my chest and my belly, just so that you can breathe. Take a moment to integrate everything. Feel the beating in your chest. Feel the sweat dripping down. Know that you have moved in a way already that has created this experience. So know that you have agency. Know that you have choice. Know that you have control. So let the breath 
emulate that same experience. Breathe with a little bit more freedom here. Take a big breath in. A big breath out. Our intermission today, we can take balasana, coming down onto all fours. Keep your knees nice and wide, point your toes back. Let your hips go back as you reach your arms forward. Let your head settle down. You can take balasana, that option, for five breaths. Or if you would like to, you can come up into a wide squat, feet nice and wide, toes pointing out to two and 10 o'clock. And you can sit down into your low squat, five breaths. If you would like to fly with me today, bring your feet together to touch. Knees nice and wide, hands down like you were going into a plank. Lift your bum up a lot, bend your elbows slightly, hook the knees outside the upper armpits, look up, lift your heels to the bum, five breaths here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Land softly or come through all fours if you are in Velasana. Take a moment, find a forward fold as you breathe out. If you're not already, make your way to the top of your mat and slowly bend your knees and roll bone by bone by bone all the way up to stand. Lift your arms to the sky. Find a little bit of a back bend here and then reach your arms back down, lowering them softly. One more just like that. Lift your arms to the sky, hips forward, arms lift up. Exhale, lower them wide and down. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the fun part. Lift your arms to the sky, forward and up, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold, and breathe out. Right leg steps back as you inhale, lengthen your chest forward. Bring your hands to your thigh as you breathe out, your left thigh. Inhale, sweep the arms back and up into big circles. Exhale, pyramid pose as you breathe out, so straight front leg. Spin your back heel down to the left. Keep your left hand grounded on the outside of your left foot. Reach your right arm to the sky to find triangle pose today. Now option for triangle, right hand can come to right hip or right arm to the sky. Whichever variation, think about spinning the chest open by rooting the back heel, your right heel, down more. When you have a strong foundation, it gives you the space to see new perspectives. Think about letting your gaze go upward as you breathe out. Inhale, come back to a lunge, lift the back heel up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg to the sky. This time, right knee comes across the body to the left tricep and extend the right leg off of the mat. Spin your left heel down to the right, left arm to the sky for fallen triangle. Stay here and push down through your right hand. Lift the hips a little higher and breathe in. Full breath out. Inhaling together, exhale, left hand comes down, keep the legs as they are, do a mini chaturanga, micro bend the elbows, lift the left heel up, hug your right knee into your nose, and then place your right foot down in between your hands. Spin your back heel down, reach your right arm forward. This is a half moon, coming up with your left hand on your left hip. Now remember that saggy banana experience 
that we played with, change that. So lift the left hip up, engage your quadriceps so that your entire leg is strong and lifting up, up, up. Take a big breath in. We'll land in a forward fold at the top of your mat, but control the swing and the momentum. So as you breathe out, slowly lower that left foot. Let it hover beside the right before you put it down and then forward fold, let it all go. Bring more responsibility onto your left foot. Come onto your right toes. Keeping a tight little ball, begin to curl up to stand, bringing your right knee with you. Well, I am sweating, I hope you are too. <laughs> I'm gonna turn a little bit so you can see me here. We're coming into a half lotus. So bring your left, let your right knee open to the side and the sole of the foot is going to face up towards the sky. Option one, with your left hand, grab the top of your right foot and, and communicate with the right knee so that the knee goes down. Option two, take your right hand and bring it behind your back, maybe grabbing the big toe. Take a moment here, and if this is comfortable, stay here. Or you can begin to hinge the hips, finding a fold in your half lotus. We're here for three breaths. So notice if the left hip wants to wag out to the side. See about coaxing that left hip back like we've done in pyramid pose. Right hip comes slightly forward. Lengthen the back of your neck. Take an exhale here. Bend your left knee, release the bind of your foot, and let your right heel come into figure four as you sit down into a chair with figure four legs. Hands come together in front of your heart. Then extend your arms to the left and the right connecting your index finger and your thumb together, chin mudra. Let this experience in the upper body be one of expansiveness, like you were a bald eagle with wings taking flight. Take a big breath in together. Sit lower as you breathe out. Rise to stand. Bring that right knee up with you, hug it in. Exhale, kick back into warrior three. So as you straighten that right leg, extend your chest forward. I like to bring my right, my hands behind my back and imagine lengthening my fingertips away from the crown of my head. Take a big breath in here, big exhale. Land your foot down at the back of your mat. Both hands frame your front foot. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet, left and right, left and right. Come forward to a high plank, please. Lower halfway or all the way to the mat. Back bend of choice to lift the hips, open the chest. Exhale, downward facing up. Take a big breath in. Bend your knees as you exhale, look forward. On empty, steps up, float. Top of the mat, halfway lift, breathe in. Breathe out, fold. Rise to stand, reach your arms to the sky, wide and up, look up. Hands through center, breathe out. Pause, integrate. It took me so long to just enjoy this pause without needing to fix what I'm wearing or grab a towel. So maybe your practice today is in these moments of pause is to truly pause.
Second side. Inhale, lift the arms to the sky. Big breath in. Fold forward as you breathe out. Left leg steps back this time. Hands come to your right leg, right knee, as you breathe out. The inhale will sweep the arms back, up, into a high lunge. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Inhale, reach the chest forward and place both hands on either side of the front foot. Exhale, spin the back heel down. Left arm comes to the sky, this is triangle pose. Lift your chest forward and up. Again, the option is left hand on the hip or left hand lifted. Sharpen both legs as much as you can. Take a big breath in together. Exhale, plant both hands down, lift the back heel up. Inhale to look forward, lengthen the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts up, big breath in. Across the body, the left knee comes to the right tricep, extend the leg off of the mat, spin the right heel down. All the responsibility in the left hand, fall in triangle, lift the right arm to the sky. Take a moment here and breathe. Lift the hips up a little higher. Sharpen both elbows a little bit more. Take a big exhale together. Inhale to lift everything up. Right hand comes down. Micro bend your elbows, mini chaturanga. Inhale, left knee to nose, spin onto your back toes. Step the left foot down as you breathe up. <laughs> This is your half moon, so spin the right heel down, left hand goes forward, lift the back leg up as you stand firmly on that left foot. Now again, take any saggy banana out of the shape. So squeeze your right obliques. Allow your right heel to kick back and sharpen the leg. Lift it a little higher using the strength of your core and of the lateral lines of the body. Now without momentum, we'll meet in a forward fold. So slowly lower the right foot down, keep the leg as straight as possible. Let it hover just an inch above the mat before you place it down and fold forward completely. Shift the responsibility into the left, or sorry, the right foot Lift your left heel up, curl into a little ball, keep that core activation as you lift up to stand with the left knee now rising up with you. I'm gonna spin so you can see. We'll take the half lotus variation again. Option one, left hand holds onto the outer ankle, spin the left knee down, left sole of the foot up, or right hand comes to the pinky toe side for a deeper variation. Again, communicating that left knee down as much as possible. Option two, left hand comes behind your back or the bind, grab the big toes with your peace fingers. Option three, add in a nice little fold. Again, we're here for three breaths in whatever variation you've chosen. So enjoy your choice and enjoy your breath. Do all those little micro adjustments you know to do. Hips squaring, neck long, eyebrows soft. Big exhale together. Release the grip of the bind if you have it. Lower your left ankle down onto your right thigh to find figure four. Come up into figure four chair with the hands in front pressed together. Extend your arms to the side. Find chin mudra. Index finger and thumb touch and expand left and right. So as 
Your butt wants to go down, your head wants to lift, your arms reach you in all directions. Find a gaze point that isn't moving and drishti that you can focus on and lift in all directions. Get expansive here. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Inhale, stand tall, lift the left knee into your chest again. Warrior three, kick back. Extend the left leg long. Extend your arms down by your side. Tuck your chin slightly so the nose points down. Lift everything up into a straight line. Exhale together. Inhale, find the lunge. Hands down, left foot at the back of your mat. Downward facing dog. Breathe out. Whew. Way to go. Rinse it out with the mini vinyasa or take balasana. Inhale forward to plank. Lower halfway down, chaturanga. A back bend of choice to look forward into your future. Downward facing dog to come home. Big breath in. Big breath out. How are we doing? <laughs> We're gonna flow through a short version of that. Lift your right leg up, breathe in. Step forward to your right hand, breathe out. Spin the back heel down. Find half moon, inhale, sharpen everything up. Exhale without momentum, forward fold at the top of your mat. Shift over to your left foot, right knee rises up. Stand up with your right knee up. Figure four, spread your arms wide, fly. Inhale, rise up, right knee up. Warrior three, kick back, breathe out. Inhale to the lunge, hands down, back foot down. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Left leg lifts, breathe in. Exhale, step forward, spin the back heel down. Find your half moon, inhale. Without momentum, find a forward fold. Shift the responsibility to your right foot, left knee up, rise up to stand. Figure four chair, fly, be expansive here. Inhale, left knee up, stand tall. Warrior three, step back. Inhale to lunge, both hands down. Downward facing dog, breathe up. One more time, right leg lifts, breathe in. Step forward in between your hands, breathe out. Spin back heel down, half moon. Breathe in, lift it all up. Without momentum, forward fold. Shift to the left foot, right knee up, breathe in. Figure four, fly, arms wide. Inhale, lift everything up, breathe in. Tip back, warrior three, as you exhale. Land in the lunge, back foot down, hands down, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Left leg, lift it high, breathe in. Step forward, breathe out. Spin the back heel down, half moon, lift everything up. Right leg lifts. Without momentum, find your forward fold. Shift to the right foot, step down, the left knee lifts. Figure four, spread the arms wide. Inhale, stand tall, left knee lifts. Warrior three, kick it back. Land in the lunge, hands are down, straighten up, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Lower down, take balasana, knees nice and wide, point your toes back, hips back, rest the forehead down. Take five breaths here, please. Know that your breath is an indication of the number of breaths you have left to breathe. There's almost the, there's a parable that says there's only so many breaths 
you can breathe in a lifetime and then you're dead. So if you want to enjoy life a little bit more, take slower breaths. Slowly come on up onto sitting on your heels. Knees can point forward or you can sit cross-legged. We have one more thing before we cool it all down. Here we go. We're gonna do um, a little pigeon for you. And if you don't wanna do pigeon, you can do our figure four, like we did at the beginning of class, lying on your back, threading the needle, option, or Pigeon, you're going to come to all fours, slide your right knee forward to the right wrist, and then the right ankle across the mat it, toward the left wrist. Flex your right toes a lot so that you're not sickling or bending the ankle. Walk your left knee back a little bit until you find a position where the right hip can tack back and the left hip can tack forward, similar to what we've been doing all class. And then come onto your fingertips and find the hint of a back bend here. Let your outer shoulders open wide. As you breathe out, bend your elbows about 30% of the way down. Then from here, stay, but take a back bend here and breathe in. And then lower onto your forearms as you breathe out. Lengthen your spine long as you breathe in. And maybe you lower all the way down, elbows are wide, forehead comes to stacked hands, and you can rest. Again, the opportunity here is to breathe slower. Take a big exhale together. Press down through the hands to come onto your forearms. Place the hands down underneath your shoulders. And you're going to rock over onto your right side and turn to your left to come into half wide leg position. Bring your heel toward you as you extend your left leg long. Take your entire torso and turn it towards the left. Give yourself the opportunity to sit up a little taller and then begin to hinge forward. I like to keep my hands somewhere between my thigh and my uh, calf, so usually around my knee, so I'm not tempted to reach forward with my hands to try to overextend in the upper body. I want to think rooting down through my seat, especially that right hip, to lift me forward and turn to the left. Use the hands on the leg to communicate that down in the lower body, that twist and lift in the upper body. And then take all of that away and then round the spine and let your arms go long if you wish. Slowly release that back. Take your right hand, place it behind you, lift your left hand up towards the sky, let your vision follow it, then lift your hips up as you push down through the right hand, your left toes find the mat. So lift everything up, maybe your left arm begins to extend behind you so your gaze begins to look back behind you as well. Take a big breath in. And exhale, lower everything back down. Turn to the front of your mat, find downward facing dog to reset. Drop your knees down to the ground. Shuffle your left knee forward to the left wrist, your left ankle towards the right wrist. Scoot your right knee back until you find an experience where you are comfortable.
Again, tack left hip back, right hip forward. Come up onto fingertips, take a big breath in. Widen your collarbone and your outer shoulders. Bend your elbows, lower 30% of the way down. Inhale here. Lower onto your forearms as you breathe out. Get longer and taller in your spine, inhale. Widen the elbows, stack the hands one on top of the other. Let the forehead rest on the back of the hands. Let this next exhale feel like a total relief. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Come on up as you breathe in. Spin to the left. Bring your right leg out beside you into the wide, half wide leg variation. Press down to sit nice and tall first. And then, with this lift in the upper body, turn towards your right and glue your left hip down and your right hip down. Flex your right toes. Again, hands come to just outside your knees to communicate that slight little push down, lift up, twist towards the right. Let it be effortful here. So it's not just hanging out. Do some work to keep twisting, to keep lifting. One more full breath in. On this exhale, let everything go and fold forward. Maybe extending the arms, let everything round down over top that right leg. Slowly lift yourself up with your left hand. Reach it behind your back, fingertip, fingers point away from you. Right hand looks to the sky, let your gaze follow. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Point your right toes down onto the mat. And then from this strong and stable position, perhaps the right hand begins to trace along the ceiling to take your gaze back behind you as the arm, the bicep extends close to the ear. Lift the right hip a little bit more. Take a big breath in. Settle everything down as you breathe out. Bring both feet to point forward here. Bend your knees a lot. Find your armpits in your kneecaps. So your kneecaps are in your armpits. And take your peace fingers and wrap them around your big toe. Now, instead of rounding in the spine, see if you can take the rounding out of the spine, but keep the thigh and the belly connected. Then begin to walk yourself forward, keeping that lift, keeping that focus. This is where your belly, your back may begin to round. Keep knees in armpits. Tuck your chin slightly. Look in between the legs and list out five things that you love about yourself. You think I'm kidding, but you gotta do it. <laughs> what do you love about yourself? Closing this practice, looking inward for the recognition and the validation we often seek externally. Part of this practice is also generating and recognizing that we can create it internally. We can give ourselves credit. Slowly, softly release. And when you're ready and in your own time, you can either stay in a seated position to close off practice in a meditation, or you can lie down all the way onto your back. I'll close here with just a few moments of rest. Let your legs be nice and wide, relaxing everything down. 
Your hands can be on your body or out nice and wide, palms face up. Take a big breath in together and a big sigh out your mouth. <sighs> let go of any intentional breath control and just let your body integrate exactly what you experienced. Let your soul feel recognized for showing up. for doing what you were able to do today, knowing that every time we come to our mat, it's like every time we wake up, it's a new day, it's a new practice, our whole life can change. So thanks for doing the work and being here today to change your life today. I'll leave you here, but rest for as long as you need. My name is Matt, I'll see you everywhere. Have a good one.